How about a uh, vegetable cream cheese spread? A little different than the norm. Green pepper chives, carrot, celery, red pepper, basil, red onion, and a little cucumber. The only thing with this mix, because of the ingredients in there, I would only give it about three days in the refrigerator. Just to play safe. How about a uh, vegetable cream cheese spread? A little different than the norm. Green pepper chives, carrot, celery, red pepper, basil, red onion, and a little cucumber. The only thing with this mix, because of the ingredients in there, I would only give it about three days in the refrigerator. Just to play safe. The difficult part about this is just uh, you need a little bit of everything. So the easiest way I have for cutting up a carrot, cut down the side, or like so. That should be enough. I'm making one tablespoon of each item. And I'm going to cut everything the same size. Very small, what they call brunoise, but small. So everything will be minced up like that. And then all we're going to do is just mix it into the cream cheese. Taste it. Maybe I'll add just a little pepper, because cream cheese has enough salt. You can use low-fat cream cheese if you want, but I'm not. I don't eat it too often, so when I do eat cream cheese, I like the flavor. The difficult part about this is just, uh, you need a little bit of everything. So the easiest way I have for cutting up a carrot, cut down the side, or like so. That should be enough. I'm making one tablespoon of each item. And I'm going to cut everything the same size. Very small, what they call brunoise, but small. So everything will be minced up like that. And then all we're going to do is just mix it into the cream cheese. Taste it. Maybe I'll add just a little pepper, because cream cheese has enough salt. You can use low-fat cream cheese if you want, but I'm not. I don't eat it too often, so when I do eat cream cheese, I like the flavor. And the cucumber, we don't want the seeds, so first I peel it. I just cut off the outer part. I'm not going to waste the inner part. I'm going to eat it. Then I'll just dice that up the same as the other. And the cucumber, we don't want the seeds, so first I peel it. I just cut off the outer part. I'm not going to waste the inner part. I'm going to eat it. Then I'll just dice that up the same as the other. And the basil. Just take the leaves and wash them, of course, first. Roll them up real tight. And then just call the chiffonade. This way you don't have to mince it up, but you can if you want. The only item which is less than a tablespoon of to start off with is the red onion because they're so strong. And that's a good heaping tablespoon of fresh basil. There's everything in there. Doesn't look like a lot, but I'm only using one package of cream cheese, which is eight ounces. And the basil, just take the leaves and wash them, of course, first. Roll them up real tight and then 
just call this chiffonade. This way you don't have to mince it up, but you can if you want. The only item which is less than a tablespoon of, to start off with is the red onion because they're so strong. And that's a good heaping tablespoon of fresh basil. There's everything in there. Doesn't look like a lot, but I'm only using one package of cream cheese, which is eight ounces. Well, the easiest way to blend this, I have the cream cheese, that's eight ounces, is just take a fork and work it in. And by just looking at what I have in there right now, it looks like the amount of ingredients that I have is good. But I'm going to add another tablespoon of uh, what's most popular in these items. It's like the carrots and the celery. We'll taste it to see if the onion is too strong. That's enough onion. We don't want an onion cream cheese. We want vegetables. Well, the easiest way to blend this, I have the cream cheese. That's eight ounces is just take a fork and work it in and by just looking at what I have in there right now it looks like the amount of ingredients that I have is good But I'm going to add another tablespoon of uh, what's most popular in these items. It's like the carrots and the celery. We'll taste it to see if the onion is too strong. That's enough onion. We don't want an onion cream cheese. We want vegetables. Well, you know, there are many ways of making this. But... Uh, this way, you don't usually find this mix in the delis when you get your nice bagel with vegetable cream cheese. So like I said, this is good for a few days because usually the cucumber goes first. There's Many, I could have put a drop of lemon juice in there, you could have, there's so many things to do, but what we have here is a tasty, mmm, nice vegetable dip, <coughs> try it. Well, you know, there are many ways of making this, but uh, this way, you don't usually find this mix in the delis when you get your nice bagel with vegetable cream cheese. So like I said, this is good for a few days because usually the cucumber goes first. There's many, I could have put a drop of lemon juice in there, you could have there's so many things to do, but what we have here is a tasty, mmm, nice vegetable dip. <coughs> Try it. 